let me share with you an experience I had, how I use this on a regular basis. And it's so easy once I started to do it. Later on, when you talk about the discipline program, I'll, I'll be talking about a youngster who perhaps is more challenging than any other kid I've ever had. I mean, this is the type of kid when you wake up in the morning and say, I hope Jason doesn't come to school today. So I taught the program and Jason fooled around again. What did I do? I first positioned myself. And I'm going to talk about this again later because it's so important. The first thing I did is, Jason, what level is that? Now notice normally what I would have done or what would have happened is I would have become emotionally hijacked. Jason acted out and I would have acted reflexively instead of reflectively by having a procedure to control myself. I handled the situation so easily and so successfully. With all the multitasking, switch tasking, and rapid video games that the young people are using today, they're really quite impulsive. And I think it's extremely important for we as teachers to teach our kids some kind of impulse control. And a simple one I will share with you. As you notice, when I talked about Jason, I took a gasp. Now, this is how it works, and it'll be much easier for you to learn and to teach this if you stand. So, notice that there is, on the card that you're looking at, the one I'm holding in my hand, it says impulse management. The very first thing you do is, look at the signal, the red light, you stop and you take a gas. So, please do that. Now, I'm going to ask you to take a gasp again, and this time notice that your mouth drops open and your tongue drops to the bottom of your mouth. It is physiologically impossible to gasp with a closed mouth. So please again take a deep, long gasp. Now, this is the very first step so that you do not get emotionally hijacked. On the card, you stop, take a long gasp, and then in that moment, you have a choice in yellow. You think of your options. You may decide to turn on the radio or think of what you're going to do this coming weekend or your next vacation or what you did in your last vacation. In the moment that the brain operates, before it kicks in reflexively, you have a moment, a second, where you can redirect your thoughts. So that's what you do. You gasp, and then you think of your options. So let me set the scene. You're on a freeway or a highway, and there's a traffic accident. And your self-talk is, I'm going to be late to this interview. So here's what you do. You gasp, and then you think of your options. Now, normally what happens is you don't gasp and you don't reflect. You just go to automatically into reflexive thinking. Well, this traffic is making me so angry. But the fact of the matter is, the traffic doesn't care. You're allowing yourself to get angry. So what you do is, now that you have a procedure, you took a gasp of breath, you thought of your options, I think I'll turn on the radio. Now that's the green. So again, looking at the card, you must gasp. And in that moment, you think of your options and then you make a choice. Now, if you practice this procedure at least seven times, you will have made new neural connections so that you will no longer act reflexively, but reflectively. You have made new neural connections, a new habit, if you will, so that instead of acting impulsively, you will reflect first. Now, if you're the type of person that is accustomed to getting angry, again, if you do this at least seven times, the number of times you will get angry will decrease. And the intensity will also decrease because, again, you have made new neural connections. Now, scientifically, the way this works is that at the base of your jawbone, there are nerves called the trigeminal nerves. 
And as soon as you gasp, these nerves are released. And this is the nerve system that, that sends the impulses throughout the entire body. When you gasp, and again, you cannot gasp with a closed mouth, the trigeminal nerves are being released. Now, chances are, if you're angry and you're not talking, your teeth are clenched tight. Just by releasing the trigeminal nerves, you will reduce your stress. And if you take a look at this card, which is available at Marvin Marshall slash store, they're in, the, in cards or in posters, and you teach this to your youngsters, to your students of any age, and of course to yourself, you'll find that you're not going to be as stressed out as you usually are when you get an impulse. This is so important to young people to teach an impulse control some type of procedure where they never have to be a victim. And again, if they don't have good impulse control, they and so many adults wind up being victims. It's unnecessary, but it starts with teaching. And again, recycling, the very first thing you need to teach is a procedure.